Wow, good morning. How are you? Um, I know so many friends in this room, and there's data in that. Um, I'm so happy to be here. I also have been told that it works best if I stay in these two squares, which feels a little like a coaching box to me, but I'll give it a run. Um, NGA delivers world-class geospatial intelligence and provides decision advantage for policymakers, warfighters, and intelligence professionals. I say it differently. I say that we provide the content and the context so the nation can know the truth, see beyond the horizon, and be able to act before events dictate. Sure, I'm talking about spy satellites, but in 2015, if we're going to fulfill our promise to know the Earth, show the way, understand the world, we're going to have to bring a lot more to the table. And that's why I'm here talking to you. So we're in our 20th year, and our mission is as vital as ever. There is absolutely nothing about what I said that isn't valid today. But the conditions in which we must execute that mission have changed remarkably. So I'm going to try and tell a story that shows. For most of our history, the intelligence community has been like a sturdy, strong, albeit somewhat isolated house on the prairie. We collected data and we store it securely in stovepipes. We dealt with issues that were pretty constant. Our customers were a very specific set, and though we communicated with each other, it tended to be point to point and in a very secure manner. But something happened around 9-11. And if I were to steal the phrase from that noted biz business guru, Charles, Charles Obang, something happened after midnight. And the world changed. And when we woke up, everything was different. It was dynamic. It was complex. It was nearly chaotic. Data is exploding around us and runs the risk of overwhelming us just at the moment that we went, when we must, must know so much more. And the issues, they sound the same. Russia, China, regional conflict, counterterrorism. And yet, are they the same? And what about cyber? In fact, our customers and their nature and their needs have changed as well. And if we're going to be good, we have to meet them where they are on this landscape, not that relatively quiet landscape. What's most vexing to us at NGA is that even the most fundamental of our crafts, geography, requires new thinking. Borders, absolutely. It's a great way to understand what we see. But let's think about that today. There is so much more going on beyond that. There are cultural interactions, tribal relationships, digital networks, all of which are micro trends that must be understood if we are to be able to put what we see in the context of what somebody needs to know. It's the reason why national issues become international space. China and Russia look the same. They're not the same. The Mideast has the same borders that we saw in the atlases that we used in college. And yet, entities like ISIL are advancing and operating in ways that are difficult to see from a photograph from above. Simply put, what got us here won't get us there. Now, I just went to Maui. I didn't take a vacation because it was too overwhelming. If you hang with me, it'll make sense. And I visited the top of Haleakala Crater, and what I saw in that pre-dawn sky were breathtaking stars. But more, you know what this steely-eyed intelligence professional saw? I saw satellites. Lots of them. I remember 20 years ago, you could crane your head to the sky forever and not see one, and I just looked, and they were all over the place. Our satellites, 
international partner satellites, commercial satellites. Thank you, Digital Globe, for your wonderful mission partnership. And you know what else is coming? The small sat revolution. 20 years from now, this sky that I thought was full, full of satellites is going to be even more so. Why do I care? Because they are going to produce content that I can use to fill in the gaps in knowledge that I need. Now let's talk about using data. NGA, in late 2014 and early 2015, played a behind-the-scenes role in uh, addressing the Ebola crisis. And what we did was we took a vast amount of our data and we made it available for public use. Not with a cat card, not on a secure network, but on the World Wide Web. And what it allowed was medics and international workers to be able to locate and stem the outbreak because we made our data, data available. And this year, we've added data on the Nepal earthquake and on the Arctic. And if you visited NGA.mil right now, okay, don't do it right now because I want you to listen to me. <laughs> but when you visit NGA.mil, you'll see those data sets and more. If you ch click on GWINT services, you know what you're going to find? You're going to find source code and applications that you can use not only on our data, but on your data. And all of this is key to what we believe we must do, not because we're the cool kids, but because that's where the issues, data, people, and customers are. We must succeed in the open. This is where you come in. Our partners are in the open. You bring to us the technology that we need. You have brought to us the infrastructure by way of the cloud that we are going to use in ways that we can only imagine. We've invested in the infrastructure. Now we're going to put it to a test. But it's no easy day when you work for the government because we can't just pursue things blindly with happiness about what it offers. Because we're the government, we have to be sure. And it's always a matter of balance. A balance between speed and accuracy. A balance between crowdsourced and pedigree. A balance between national security and civil liberties. A balance between unclassified and classified. Join us, no easy day. Here's what I'll tell you. I, have, I believe that we have a moment for magic. I've laid out a compelling mission, a sure need, seemingly insurmountable obstacles, incredible opportunity. Now my work is almost done, and our work begins. I need you to join us if you are an employee, an industry partner, an academic, if you're a subject matter expert, if you're a concerned citizen, join us. Because I need all of us in order for us to be able to know the earth, show the way, and understand the world. With the help of partners like AWS, I cannot wait to see what we do and come back next year and talk about it. Thank you very much.